In this lesson, you are going to learn how to construct rectangular prisms with a given volume. And uh, so here's my slideshow that we'll go along through together. Um, first of all, we need to make sure that we're on the same page with what a rectangular prism is. And so a rectangular prism is a 3D solid shape, which has six faces that are rectangles. So rectangle, 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 and rectangle. <laughs> um and so yeah there's lots of those all over the place this is a cube it's also a rectangular prism because a square is a rectangle and those are all six rectangles um and so we're going to just be working with that shape of like long and skinny short and wide um but yeah no other shapes today just rectangular prisms so um in this lesson you're going to be asked to find all possible rectangular prisms and um, in order to do that, you can use multiplication to find all possible prisms. Um, and so you're just multiplying three numbers together to equal the total volume. Um, and the way you do that is you times you go the length of the object times the width of the object times the height of the object. And it doesn't extremely matter which um, which side you make the length and the width and the height, you're still gonna get the same volume um, for this lesson anyways. So um, yeah, don't worry too much about that, um, but you're gonna have to find different combinations. So I, th I think this is fun, I, lo I love this lesson. Um, so let's explore. So suppose you have 11 centimeter cubes. So this isn't quite uh, one centimeter, I think it's, eh, it might be actually, it's, it's kind of small, but say you have 11 of these and you needed to, needed to make a rectangular prism using all of them um, on the screen is the only way that you could build this one because the only thing that you can multiply to get 11 is, is itself times one. Um, so you'd actually go 11 times one times one. So 11 long, one, one wide and one high to make that rectangular prism. However, um, if you add one more to that and make 12 centimeter cubes, there are four actually, there are four answers that you can come up with with this. Um, and so I've got them all built down here on my book. Um, and then also I'll show you on the screen, but I'll show you on my book first here. Um, you can see this. Um, and so I use these foam, foam cubes, which are much bigger than one centimeter cube, but you can see them nicely um, to give you an idea. But so this is a 12 by one one wide and one high. This one is a uh, six long. Oh, now it's five long. <laughs> Those fell on the floor. We'll just pretend they're still there. Uh, by one wide and two high. So six by one by two. Um, this little guy here, I ran out of foam cubes. It is four by one by three. So four times one times three, that'll equal 12. And then we've got this one here. Um, it is a three by two by two. So three times two is six times another two is 12. Um, you could even just think about it as like, just this layer is six, and then we wanna have two of them. So that equals 12. So this is what it looks like in real life and when they fall. <laughs> um, but yeah, so on the computer, here is the long and skinny one. Here is uh, the six by one by two, the four by one by three, and the three by two by two. Um, and so when, with your, if you're doing this question, all you really need is just 12 cubes and then you can reconfigure them. You don't need to have them all built all together if you don't have that many cubes. Um, I just happen to have some cubes in my art supply set that I found, so. Um, yeah, and then, okay, so just for um, an added example, because you'll be doing some Something similar to this um, is if you are given the dimensions and you have to figure out the volume, you can just multiply the dimensions together and then you'll get the volume. And the way that you want to do that is multiply the first two numbers together and then multiply that answer by the last two. So like for 12 times one times one, you go 12 times one is 12 and then 12 times one is 12, so it's 12. Um, down at the bottom right hand corner, this will give you a better example. Uh, three times two is six. And then six times two is 12. Same with the other ones. Six times one is six times two is 12. Four times one is four times three is 12. So um, all of our answers are 12. Like I said visual to go along with what I just said, but um, 
Next up, our example here is build a rectangular prism with a volume of 16 centimeter cubed. So uh, you can grab 16 of these and start building away and just make one and that works. We're not finding all of the options for this one. I will show you all of the options, but when it says this, you're only looking for one. Um, you could also pull up the um, toy theater slash cube website and build it that way, which we'll pull up for example three. Or if you have Minecraft, you could build these on Minecraft as well, which is a fun way to incorporate math and Minecraft. Um, but either way, here is one of the options that you could build. Um, this one is a four, four long, two wide and two high. So four times two times two is 16. And this is what the dimensions would look like. Four times two times two equals 16. Uh, another option that you could have is having it eight long, and then you'd have one to have it one um, wide and two high. So eight times one is eight times two is 16. And then the last option that you could have is a 16 long, so a long, long one. Um, and then it would just be one wide and one high, so make 16 centimeter cubes. Um, and then I just want to show you a non-example. This is not a rectangular prism because it um it does not have those six sides that are all rectangles this has more than that many sides um so we're only sticking with rectangular prisms for this one that would not the last type of example is one where you're given the dimensions and you have to build the object so build a rectangular prism with the given set of dimensions then find the volume so we've got a six by a two by a three so six long two wide and three high um and so i will just take you over to um, my other uh, website here. I already recorded this video and I forgot to uh, change the tab. So um, I need to get into the cube here. Here we go. Oh, there is my beautiful uh, de design that I made <laughs> for my husband. Um, and I didn't know it saved that. That's cool. Um, anyway, so we need to build, and I'm not going to make it pretty. I'm just going to build it. So we're going to go with six. So first, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we need to make it two wide. So we move it so we can do that. And then, or er, yeah, two wide. One. Oh, now I can't reach it. <laughs> two, three, four, five, six. If if you play Minecraft, this is going to be just a whiz for you. Okay. Super easy. Then we need it to be three high. So it's already one high. So we're going to go one, two, three, two, three, two, three, and so on. And you can be counting the cubes as you build this to see how many it will take for finding the volume. Um, or you can build it and then count. And uh, one fun way to build it and then count is, okay, here it is built. This is what it looks like. Six by two by three um, is you can grab the hammer, the destroy tool. And then uh, start counting while you destroy one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on um, until it is destroyed. Um, that's a fun way, but let's go back to the, the presentation here. Um, here we go. And whoops, redo. Okay, view, present. Here we go. <laughs> Anyways, so I made it in rainbow. Here is the example in rainbow. Either way, if you, however you count it, um, what what you're going to end up with is you could even go six times two is twelve, and then twelve times three is thirty six. So in there is thirty six cubes. Um, that is how many you are going to um, put for the volume. And then since it has centimeter cubed up here, you don't have to write centimeter cubed beside there. Um, but yeah, that is really how you do this assignment. I always have a lot of fun with building um, the, the cubes. You've got a lot of options that you can use. Um, and so yeah, do whatever works for you and make sure that you have fun with it.